How nice is that? Oh, I do love it here. Good old Nicky Nook. Today's walk is an absolute cracker. We started from Wiresdale Park car park just off Snow Hill Lane. I'd highly recommend visiting their Apple Store Cafe. But before this car park was built, it was an absolute nightmare parking here on the weekends. From here, there's actually a lot of different ways you can do this walk. You can start by going down there and you can go out and around Nicky Nook the hill, avoiding the hill altogether. You've also got straight up, which is what I tend to prefer, get the hill out of the way and it's great views coming down the other side of the valley. Or like today, you can go down this road here, come round the back of Nicky Nook and then we'll climb up it from the other end and hopefully catch sunset from the top. I think Henry wants to go. Come on, let's crack on. It doesn't half feel good being back around here again. I actually used to live in the area down in Garstang and Nicky Nook was one of our go-to walks. It's just stunning. In fact, Nicky Nook is also one of the first walks that I filmed for this channel. Gosh, that sun's bright. But I thought I'd come back again and yeah, see how much things have changed. Get Henry out for a nice walk and just get out of nature got to do it. Okay, let's go. I think what makes Nicky Nook so popular is the fact that it's the shortest hill in the Forest of Bones. The paths are certainly well marked, this walk is not remote at all and I just think it's simple to do. There's also a few parking spaces down here at Sleen End with instant access to the woodland trails alongside Grisdale Brook. Go, 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 go. This has to be one of my favourite spots in Lancashire. It really is a hidden gem. Just look at these roots. Unbelievable. A photographer's dream, I'd say. If you can make it to this track in the autumn, honestly, the leaves, the setting, it'll just blow you away. So for today's Nicky Nook walk, we're going to be going that way and then up the hill. But even you can see around here, there's public footpaths going off there. A lovely stream. Obviously tracks going down there as well. You really can extend this walk if you want. What I absolutely love about this walk is pretty much half of it, you're walking alongside this brook. It's just beautiful. In 2024, I really hope to get better with my photography. I managed to save up for a Sony a7 IV, I think it's called. Brilliant camera for videos, but I also know that it's brilliant for photography as well. So fingers crossed, this is the year where I take my photography to another level. In fact, I might even share some of my pictures on this very channel. And if you've got any tips, feedback for me to improve my photography, fantastic. Today's simple circular walk is no more than three miles and yet it offers a little bit of everything. Perfect for you and your fairy friends. As it's probably become clear in this video, Nicky Nook is also one of Lancashire's favourite walks because it's great for dog walking. There's vast open space, your dog can be off the lead for the most part. Occasionally you get some sheep up on the top, very occasionally. Moreover, the dog's got plenty to drink, 
because we're following the brook for half the walk. It doesn't take long to spot photography opportunities in this walk. I really want to learn more about framing versus composition and this particular angle of the hill caught my eye. I'll post a picture in the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Honestly, I'm really frustrated. I came out today with my pocket Osmo, the microphone charged, and the microphone's no longer connected to the Osmo. Needs some sort of update. And on top of that, the Osmo's battery life is just shocking. I've burnt nearly 80% and I've barely touched half of the walk yet. Definitely need to bring a mobile charger unit next time and make sure the microphone's working. Live and learn. and the DJI Osmo has officially died, so it's now time to use the Sony camera. Just look how magical that waterfall looks down there. In all honesty, it's really not easy to get to. It's a mad scramble. I wouldn't recommend it this time of year. With the sun now setting, it was looking very unlikely I'd make it up in time. Sometimes things just don't always go to plan. So whatever happens, you've just got to enjoy the journey regardless. How nice is that? Well unfortunately we have not made it in time for sunset. We're here at the bottom of the steps, which will take us right up to the trig point. But I thought I'd have a quick fly with the drone from here and see what we can see. Never mind Henry. Just look how patient this little boy has been. You're a good lad, Henry. You are. You're a good boy. I thought these videos were to show off how beautiful Lancashire's walks are. But I'm worried all they're going to show is how unfit I am. There. Come on. Whichever way you climb Nicky Nook, do take your time. It's short but steep. But don't worry, there are benches if needed. And there it is, Nicky Nook Trig Point, signalling the end of our walk. And of course, another reason why we love Nicky Nook spectacular sunsets. Thanks for watching today's walk. I'll see you on the next one.